select man doesn't work, because that would make sense. That would be helpful to be able to use elect man's weapon against an enemy, you know? Why would they have that happen? That doesn't make sense. That would be, you know, if they wanted me to be able to uh, win this game. Alright. I guess the key to beating this guy is just memorizing his attack pattern. Jumping over him when he runs at you and then, uh, you know, hit him in the back or that sort of thing. I'll figure it out. Okay, I, I tested a, a bunch of things out. Turns out that the, uh, ice, the ice slasher works well on him, somewhat. Yeah, sorry for cutting out the video of me uh, trying out the various uh, weapons, but still, come on. There's enough in this, uh, you know, video walkthrough of just videos of me doing nothing but dying, right? You got your fill of that with Heat Man. You don't want to see me repeat that. Wow, that was great. I got two hits off in a row. Ha ha! Oh man. And there we go. And there I get all the uh, weapons energy. All the various weapons in the game, I hope. And the Time Stopper, which is pretty much only useful for uh, Crash Man. Or Quick Man? Yeah, Quick Man. Well, in any case, here's our uh, final boss. Alright, and here is that boss. He looks kind of like Yamato Man. And he's got a uh, pretty easy attack pattern. Um, well, I'm getting my butt kicked, but uh, this is just to show you his attack pattern. See, so he's going to run from one side of the room to the other. And he holds up his spear. He goes to one side of the room, then he holds up his spear, and shoots something at you. And I'll explain this more in the next video. Well, not the next video, right now. Now, if you hit him... Hit him while he's holding a spear. You can hear those little dings. The more dings you get, the more powerful the uh, thing he throws at you is going to be. And as you can see now, he has four or so different ways of getting across the room. He, he will either run, he'll do a, a, a jump and run, or he'll do two jumps, or he'll do one jump. And you have to get your placing very good in order to figure out, uh, well, what he's going to do, because you're not going to know what he's going to do ahead of time. And what I found is, let me show you the places I found, which are ideal for knowing, uh, for giving you a, almost enough time for where to dodge. The first one is here, and the second one is here. It's about fourth way through the room. And you've got enough room to dodge if he's doing a run at you. And hopefully enough room to dodge if he does a jump and run. And if he does a one jump, you can easily dodge. So that's why those places are the ones that I identify as good. Because when they work, they work. And if you're not on them, you die like that. So there's my strategy for how to uh, beat this boss. Now let's see that strategy in action. Alright. Just to point it out to everybody, it is possible to hit him while he's jumping across the room. But, I don't do it. 
I, I'm uh, only hitting him when he's holding his sword up. I guess probably because the shots don't miss if you hit him when he's holding his sword up. But you can hit him while he's not holding his sword up. So, uh, if you want to uh, do the boss fight a bit more dangerously, rather than playing it safe like I did, go for it. You have my blessing. And I got the mirror buster. And... You know, I think I might have to bring in my British friend to uh, bring in a commentary on this scene. Oh! Oh, never mind. I thought I was going to bring in my British friend, but it turns out he's not necessary. Well, we'll see him at the end of the game if, if, he, if it becomes necessary. But apparently, we have Dr. Wily's level 2. Alright, so this is the last stage in the game. The second level of Dr. Wily's place. Alright, and uh, you'll notice that I have a new item from defeating uh, en Ender, or whatever his name is. I don't know what EN stands for, but that's the name of the uh, boss we just fought who looked like Yamato Man with his spear and everything. I think I'll call him Ender. Yeah, we defeated Ender. Sure, he tried to play games with us, but we defeated him. Life. I'm going to stop here and take advantage of uh, this uh, machine that's constantly shooting out enemies in order to get a refill on everything. So I'll come back right after I finish doing that, okay? Alright, I'm back. That was a long section. It took me about 15 minutes. Alright, for that puzzle you want to uh, obviously just run right. You do not want to try to jump to the right, which would be your instinct, because if you jump right, the thing that's above you is going to hit you. 